highly influencing change in the world through active participation in changing opinions. I speak widely on topics such as evolution and non-belief at my lectures, causing such a storm that riots break out. I'm not afraid of people condemning my remarks. No one and nothing will stop my determination to change the world. <laughs> and the next answer? Um, well, I'm fighting for women through my writing. Uh, while pioneering the stream of consciousness, a form of modernist writing, my novels have been labelled as examples of feminist prose by others. I suppose it's my way of changing the world. <laughs> okay, and your second question, Julia. Question two, contestants to the I'm a deeply religious woman, but I am intrigued by anyone who can travel to my day and do so. Well, I underwent a deconversion myself from Christianity to become an agnostic atheist. My new worldview places humanity at its centre, not God. I used to be a believer, but now I'm a firm advocate for, change, for separating church and state, secularising the world, so I can definitely challenge your faith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julia, don't let religion stop you from living out your sexuality. <laughs> I'm tired of meeting people who are tied down by religious doctrines. The world has moved on from the church. If you're religious, you can't have fun. Your libido is now your life force. <laughs> <laughs> and Julia, your third and final question, please. Question number three, contestants one and three. If religion is not flowing from your world, what do you believe reality? We should understand reality to be how to keep it real. Well, Julia, science is real. It's proving the answer to religion comes. Society is undergoing rapid change as a result of the growth of science and technology. Industrialization is questioning religion. We need to reject these traditional and historical <laughs> academic forms and create a modern world. And um, it's not free Dorothy. Oh, I suppose I'm interested in if what we can see is truthfully real or if it exists independently of us and our relations. Uh, we at the Bloomsbury Group often discuss the possibility of the subjective truth existing when opinions aren't involved in the observation. That is to say that such truths are non-subjective. For example, much like the undeniable structure you and I should <laughs> So we've got a great selection of contestants, haven't we? All with strong views on objectivism and secularisation. So, Julia, who are you going to pick? Well, so, I think we'll have to go for contestant number one. Oh. <laughs> 